What's up guys? Today we're playing some more Hogwarts Legacy. Last episode we explored the spider cave and learned Defendo, which is pretty cool. I can't wait to use this on people. Uh, and this episode I think we are going to do Natty's quest. So if we look <coughs> at our quest, we'll see that we can go to Hogsmeade to speak with Natty and uh, I believe we'll get to fight against poachers. I'm not sure. Uh, exactly. Oh, we gotta go up this way. Uh, and I'm not sure how long that quest will be. If it's not too long, we can stop, or we can start Poppy's quest, which I believe involves the dragon. I'm not sure if we'll have to meet the dragon again. That was a fun quest. That's probably still my favorite quest so far, though. I like the one where you learn in Imperio. Uh, is this outside? No, it's not. Oh, well, down here is outside, so I can fly. Alright. So if I just get on my, where's the, oh wait, no, this isn't outside. I thought it was outside, uh, and I can fly. Um, there we go. But, now, my fellow knights, where's the outside area? You tell me there could just be like a balcony somewhere that I can just fly off of. Oh, cause it's Christmas time. Wait, I haven't noticed this. Look, there's a Christmas tree. I don't think this was always here. Oh, that's so cool. That's that's really cool. Uh, let me get out of here. And now we can fly. Here, here we go. Wait, what am I doing? I'm lagging a bit, but there we go. All right. But look, look at my. Okay, there we go. Uh, this way. It's not too far away. All right, guys. We were lagging a little bit on our way here, but here we are. Uh, so we. I think we just gotta wait here a little bit. Press F to wait. Press F to pay respects. Are you ready to put an end to Halo? Oh, let's go. We don't, we don't have to wait till the end of the game to do that. We can just do that now. All right, that'll be cool. <coughs> I'm ready to do what's needed to take Harlow down. I know you have a plan. <coughs> Including using unforgivable from curses. Friends of Mr. Bickle that Archie and Mrs. Bickle mentioned. Agabus Filbert, Otto Dibble, and Mr. and Mrs. Rabe. All right. I suggest that you speak with each of them while I head to the Hogshead. Oh, we I gotta saw do some like a fetch Ashwine quest. Heading there. And as my mother would never go near the hog's head, she is less likely to learn of my activities than if I were to wander the village questioning its residents. Where can I find them? Where am I to find these friends of his? I do not know about Mr. Rabe, but his wife, Daisy, is often in Hogsmeade, as is Agabus Filbert. And Otto Dibble, he works at Gladrags, so you will likely find him there. All right. Very well. I'll speak with them. <coughs> I don't even know, know who these people are. I knew I could rely on you. They have goofy names. We need to know how they are being blackmailed by Rookwood and Harlow. Meet me here after you have spoken with them. All right. So I wonder Hopefully if we'll be marked, or we have to find return. out where they are. Oh, they I are marked. Perfect. All right. Speak with Daisy, Rabe, Auto, Dibble. <laughs> I can sell my stuff here too, which will be nice. Um, see, all the Christmas decorations are everywhere. Oh, wait, some of them are in here. Glad you came. Wait, did I just see something here? Rebellion. Yep. Got another one of these. That level me up. Nope, you. Is it you? Oh no, you, um, the second floor. Mrs. Rabe should be nearby. How do I get up there? Do I fly? I can't fly. Oh, there it is. Never mind. I'm just dumb. Just stealing gold from the hog's head. See, my gear slots are full. I can't get that chest. Oh, Isco. What have I done? Mrs. Rabe. 
I wondered if I might speak with you about Theophilus Harlow. I'm a friend of the Bickles and I'm trying to gather evidence against him. Poor Joanna and little Archie. And now Harlow has taken my darling Isco. What do you mean? Why? <laughs> I'm a security guard at Gringotts and my husband is a curse breaker for them. Harlow approached me about helping him extort my colleagues into giving him treasures from the vaults. And you declined? Of course I declined. Repeatedly. I thought they'd given up until I came home one night and found my husband gone and a note affixed to my door with a knife. The note stated that I only had a few days to reconsider helping with some banking needs and that my husband would appreciate it if I acted quickly. But the help Harlow wants is help that I cannot give. And my dearest Isco is paying the price. Why not just fight him if you're a security guard? Uh... Have you helped Harlow since your husband was taken? No. I'm worried sick about Isco. But he'd never want me to compromise my integrity. I also know that he's extremely clever. That said, I was hoping he would have escaped by now. It makes me concerned as to why he hasn't. All right. Why wouldn't Harlow extort your husband? Isco's job is even more removed from the vaults than mine. He travels the world for the bank. He could do nothing for Harlow. I'm the one in the bank on a daily basis, which evidently makes me an enticing target for blackmail. Yeah, so so why wouldn't they take you and Are you torture sure you the note means that instead your husband of blackmailing you? What else could it possibly mean? Besides, I came yeah, home yeah, to find that yeah. someone had trampled the daisies in our garden. It may sound silly, but those were Isco's pride and joy. He would never have let that happen. All right. Thank you, Mrs. Rabe. Knowing the lengths that Harlow will go to is helpful, albeit more than disturbing. Mr. Bickle was trying to help us, but now he's gone. I don't know what to do. I shall do all I can to get evidence against Harlow, Mrs. Rabe. to court? Very well. Here's the note I received. You must be careful as well. Please don't put yourself in danger. Right, we got a note. Miss Ray, we hope you reconsider helping us with the banking needs. We've given you ample time to read a decision on your own, but we are beginning to lose our patience. We know your husband would appreciate it as if you were to see the value in working together. Shall we expect a response for the week and best to keep this between us if you understand our meaning? Some evidence worth hanging on to. Thank you. Too late. All right. Now, to find go? Mr. Bickles are the two friends. Philbert and Diddle, or Dibble. We gotta find the Diddler. He's the true mastermind behind all of this. Otto Dibble works at Gladrax. He's not allowed at Hogwarts. I check so he, he works at Hogsmeade to get near the children. <laughs> Please tell me you didn't take it, but perhaps... Mr. Dibble, may I speak with you? It's about Theophilus Harlow. I have nothing to say about him. Uh, may I interest you in a stunning cravat today? Please, sir, I'd like to help. I spoke to Mrs. Bickle. <laughs> you know the Bickles? Mm, all right, but we must be discreet. Can't have Mr. Hill hearing this. I know Mr. Hill. He was kind to me the day of the troll attack. Oh, he's a good man, but even he wouldn't understand about Harlow. It started a few weeks ago. I was distracted, reading a note, when you-know-who came into the shop. I had the note behind the counter and offered to help him. He stared at me for a moment, then asked me to check on an order he'd placed. I went into the storeroom to check on what turned out to be a non-existent order. When I returned, he was holding the note. What was in the note? It was a note from Rosie Hill, Mr. Hill's daughter. You see, we've been, well... Secretly engaged these past oh, six months. blackmailing lovers. We haven't told Mr. Hill yet. I dare say he has higher hopes for her. Harlow advised me in no uncertain terms that my relationship with Rosie, not to mention my employment here, depended upon my cooperation. What did he ask you to do? It all happened so quickly. In an instant, he took a very expensive scarf from the counter, pocketed it, and smiled. He said, your secret is safe as long as I can supply my lady friend with delightful items like Wait, this so every so often. He's... I've been able to cover for his requests until now with some creative bookkeeping. Wait, so he's blackmailing him? keep it out for much longer. To be a simp? I'm terrified to say anything. Wait, the bad guy's just a simp? Never live without Rose. <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, what? <laughs> like, the other guy, the first lady was, like, extorted for, like, bank secrets, probably having to do with Rookwood. This guy's just being extorted so that Rookwood can be a simp. 
<laughs> what the f <laughs> Whatever, okay. I met Mr. Hill the day of the troll attack. He was kind to me. Why don't you just tell him? He's a lovely man. But when it comes to Rosie, I fear he loses all perspective. He'd see this as a grave betrayal. I'd lose my job instantly, and Rosie as well. I mean, yeah, if you're like, you know, what have you banging been doing your to keep the extortion a secret? Well, as I mentioned, creative bookkeeping, and I've also been trying to cover the costs with my own savings, but I'm running out of money. Of course, none of this bodes well for my efforts to improve my circumstances and to be worthy of Rosie. Could you give me a bit more detail about the note? That might help me to identify it, should I come across it. It's on Rosie's special pink stationery. It has her monogram at the top, R.H. That's how Mr. Hill would know it was real. Thank you for telling me. I'm gathering evidence to take Harlow down. I would love nothing more than to see him rotting in Azkaban, but be careful. He's an awful man and incredibly dangerous. As for Rosie's letter, should you happen upon it, I have committed it to memory. You may destroy it immediately. Understood. Now hurry off before Mr. Hill returns. I mean, we're on the right even track. without the letter, Rookwood could still Mr. blackmail him because he just knows that they're dating. He could. I don't think he needs the letter. But whatever. Uh, let's sell some stuff here. Hello. What can I do for you today? Sell, sell, sell. Here, let me put my best gear on, and then we can sell more. Mm, change appearance. Now we can sell more. What can I do for you today? All right, there we go. I don't know what I'm gonna do all this gold for. I don't know if there's anything else I need to buy. I think I should buy like more recipes for my. Uh, Secret room, uh, hmm. like Agabus Filbert must uh, be around here somewhere. Blueprints. Oh, there you are. Hello, there. Hello. Excuse me, Mr. Filbert. I wondered if I might speak with you about your dealings with Theophilus Harlow. I hope to ease Mrs. Bickle's mind by gathering evidence against him. Oh, tragic what happened to Bickle. He wanted me to speak out against Harlow for an act of violence committed against me. But I feared Harlow's retaliation, and so I refused. If you had spoken out against him, as Mr. Bickle asked, perhaps Harlow would be locked away him. by now. Perhaps. But... <sighs> perhaps I would have suffered a similar fate. You said that Harlow committed an act of violence against you. Could you tell me what happened? Before my extraordinary wife, Dulcibella, passed away, she had just completed a small book of poetry. As a surprise for her birthday, one she never had the chance to celebrate, I had the book beautifully bound and plated in gold. One day, Harlow came calling to punish me for having spoken out against the Neanderthals that comprise Rookwood's lot. Before I knew it, I'd been petrified, and Harlow was rifling through my home. He found the book of poetry with its exquisite gold plating. I watched helplessly, lying there in my entranceway as he walked away with the book, laughing as he went. I was shaken to my core. Still am, to be honest. I imagine you fear Harlow retaliating again. But do you mind if I share this information with Officer Singer? 
I suppose I have no choice. This extortion can't go on forever. You can pass it on to anyone who may be willing to help. All right. Harlow so that was not like people talking. Everyone we had as to you speak already to, right? know. I've spoken with Mr. Bickle's friends. Now to find Natty. Okay. I thought I was hoping we get to do something this. I mean, maybe actually we do. Maybe we do. Maybe like he comes knowing that we're gonna stitch on him and we have to fight him. But right now that was just like kind of a fetch quest. Not really a fetch quest, but like going to locations, talking to people. It was interesting talking to these people. I guess a little bit. Uh, anyway, it's not like Natty to be late. Oh. She said she was going to the hog's hen. Perhaps I'll find her there. Maybe we'll have to fight someone there. Maybe Rookwood's there right now, attacking her. Or I got like the the music. I think. There might be a fight there. What can I? I was trying to jump around. Jump around. Jump up, jump up, and get down. Alright. I forgot you can tip that guy. It's cool. Alright. That he must be around here somewhere. Oh. Oh, yeah, this is the, this is the hog's head, right? Where? Where is she? Search for Natty near the Hogshead Inn. Okay. Natty's wand. <gasps> she can cast without it. <coughs> she wanted me to find this. She's in trouble. Revelio will show me where she was taken. In Hogsmeade, she just got attacked. Revelio. Okay, follow the trail. There's something here. I don't know where this. Yeah, there it is. And that leveled me up so we can do the next Matthew quest now. Oh, it's a hideout. Ugly. Literally right under this building. So that means the the guy at the Hogshead's in with them, right? Or he just doesn't know and he's really dumb. Anyway, we'll be back. <laughs> Prince led to this room. Alright guys, we're back. There must be another way forward. Okay, so... Revelio. So they're just hiding... There's secrets underneath Hogsmeade. Wow, the, the police are incompetent. Okay. Pull these two. The hidden door. Natty must have been taken this way. I need to find her quickly. Okay. We gotta find Natty. Better be sure oh, and we can seen. find the book of poems in the love letter. Okay, well... Option also probably do it. Rebellion. Let's see if we can get the note as well. I don't know. They'll probably all be near the end, so we should just continue going this way. Okay. Slice an ash white. Okay. Gwendolyn. Who's Gwendolyn? Okay, well, Gwendolyn's gone. I don't know, I'm thinking it's like, damn it, I'm dodging badly. Alright, there we go. Oh, 
Let me just get my fire spell out. Okay, damn, 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 damn. was a pretty fun challenge. You have uncollected rewards available in the challenge menu. Diamond weave wardrobe. Okay. Oops, a little bit of lag. Oh, my darling auto, I read your last letter and over and over and I'm starting to read it again. Catch hour until we are able to meet. I dread the notion that I'm not to see you up soon you soon, but I am not without hope. I long for the day that our engagement can be shared with those who we love, especially my dear father. I do not wonder at your waiting, wanting to wait until you're more settled, my love, and I know that you're doing all you can to ensure such a situation is within your grasp. Please allow me to say these past months of being a unable to share publicly the feelings with exalt me to the utmost pinnacle of happiness have been an existential challenge indeed, and now I'm off to read your letter once more. Here. Otto Dibble's love okay, letter from Rosie. The love letter. He wanted me to destroy this if I found it. He doesn't want it back. All right. Well, I'm not going to destroy it. I'm going to keep it. It's mine Revenue. now. Is this... Is this... What? Maybe we use the movement on it. What's in here? The diary? No. Alright, maybe the diary will be in another room. Rebellion. Okay. I can always look up where the diary is, too. Okay. Let me go on. Alright, let's just... The book of poems that was taken what, from Agabus Felbert. That was the book of poems? I'll be thrilled to have this back. Okay, so then we found everything we need. Anything here? No. Let's go to the main area. That was a little bit of a hard combat section. I actually had to use my wiggle wands a little bit. That he must be here somewhere. Speak with who? Oh, you. All right. Mr. Rape. Daisy told me you've been abducted. She <coughs> spoke with my wife. How is she? Worried about you. Are you all right? I am all right. Thank you for coming. These locks are cursed, and there's an anti apparition jinx on the cells. Even Natty's skill with wandless magic cannot free us. I need you to find my wand. Use mine. I'll find yours together once you're out of there. I need my wand for this. Using one with which I have no connection may not work as well or as quickly, and we cannot risk detection. I shall do my best. Any idea where it might be? It's nearby. I can sense it. What do you mean you can oh, sense Mr. it? Is this some new I'll power we're introducing? You can sense your Rebellion. wand? What? Is this something we're doing now in Harry Potter? You can, you can sense your wand now. Okay. Find and return Isaac's 
for it before it was. Mr. Rape's one could be in there. In where? In the chest down there? I don't think it'd be down there. I'd assume it'd be because the the purple thing's in here. Where could it be? Rebellion. Okay, I got it. It could be in there. Right here. Maybe it is out there. Find and return his wand. Could it be this? No. So I think I think it has to be up there. Where could this be? Rebellion. Should stuff be destroyed? Maybe. Incendio. Can light though? I'm not sure. You guys, I'm gonna look this up quickly. All right, guys, we're back. So apparently, there's a chest right here. Alohomora. Uh, you gotta use Alohomora on it, and then. Mr. Rape's wand must be nearby if he can sense it from his cell. Yeah, we're we're in we're in the chest that's hidden. All right, that's E and Q. So let's. And then. There we go. Mr. Rape's wand. He'll be glad to have this. Now we back. keep it. We don't give it to him. All right, fine. Mr. Rape, we'll give it to I you. found your wand. Well done. I knew it was nearby. Now, you best stand back. One never knows how a curse will react to being broken. Oh yeah, he's a curse breaker. Bro, he's the main character. We're just living in his world. And I can't break this. Even though I know, like, unforgivable curses. Thank you, Mr. Isco. My pleasure. And thank you, my friend. We owe our lives to your bravery. I may be too weak to disapparate with you both, but I can try. Oh. You go ahead. Find Officer Singer. We will get out of here on our oh. own. There's gonna be very well, but be careful. Guarantee you. Thank you, my young friend. Someone's gonna pop out. Be prepared for a fight. These yep. Ashwinders must pay. Yeah. Why didn't we operate out? Find a way out. The Ashwinder hideout. I thought they were all gonna pop out in the main room. Oh. Okay. Unless they're gonna pop out here, then it will be outside. Or there will Let's be no find fight. And put an end to Harlow once and for all. all right, guys, we'll be back. All right, guys, we're back. Uh, I was expecting a fight, so unless they I pop out known. right now, and you, the troll then dispatcher. I'm a little oh, bit disappointed. Thank goodness the two but... of you are safe. All right, Officer Singer. Literally, our poke. What was it? what was the name of the Pokemon officer? It was uh. Isco they were, they were like all me a sisters. Of students had rescued him. It was Jenny, right? Was you too? Is Mr. Rabel right? He and then, like is. the the hospital I worker, they were all sisters to too, wife. right? Miss Oni. And Brock had a crush on all of them. You're even more beautiful you're than the last one. Your safety, pursuing <coughs> these dangerous men. Actually, Officer Singer, Natty and I learned <coughs> of several Hogsmead <coughs> residents who've had their lives threatened by the Ashbinders. In addition to abducting Mr. Rabe to blackmail his wife and Natty, Rookwood and Harlow have also extorted Agabus Filbert and Otto Dibble. <sighs> I will look into all of that. As for the two of you, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but you are taking great risk. Next time, please let the authorities handle the Ashwinders. You do nothing. 
Yeah, the authorities. With all due respect, no, officer, don't not even the do respect. The authorities haven't done much about any of this. There's more to taking down an organization like the Ashwinders than simply storming in and hauling them off based on a few accusations. Well, the thing is, I didn't haul them off. I killed them. I must them. insist that so you leave them to us. So they won't be a problem anymore. We shall have no further discussion on this. Okay, so that's the end of the quest. Natsai, you may wish to speak with your mother about this before I do. Snitch. My mother will not like this. Thank you again for rescuing me. We shall speak soon. Uh, yes, kidnapping children is not something that I will look into. V very, gr you're great at your job. All right, now we can talk to the headmistress and help out with Poppy. I thought we were gonna get to like fight a bunch of groups, like fight Rookwood. That's probably for the final level. Him or what was the goblin? Ranrock. All right. Uh, I think that's where we're gonna end off the episode. If you like this video, uh, smash like and subscribe. Comment down below. What game? Oh wait, wait, wait. We got mail. We gotta read our mail first. The Ashwinders have ceased pestering me. I suspect that. Oh wait. Let's just, let's just read our mail first. We can end off the episode. What is what is happening? Why is it taking so long to load my mail? There we go. Uh, who is it? Can I sort by like newest? Uh. Yeah, this this dude. This dude gave me mail. The Ashwinder sees past me. I expect that you're doing. Thank you for me and Rosie both. We're just leaving for our honeymoon. After we tell Mr. Hill of our marriage. Okay. Immediately got rid of the letter, and he's like, you know, I'm getting married. Oh, now he's gonna read it. All right. After we tell Mr. Hill of our recent marriage. I guess I inspired him with confidence. Anyway, if you like this video, smash like and subscribe. Comment down below what games you want to see me play. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.